Okay, so today I installed Polybar and there were a bunch of things I did to get it the way I wanted. Uh, acts a little weird. Um, it's a complicated thing. But okay, so first off, you install it with the uh, AUR package. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we want to look at the configuration file. Now, um, I believe to get it set up, I believe you can just do Polybar example to start running it. And um, this is not ideal. Well, there's a seg fault, probably because I'm already running it. Um, so the format of this command is polybar and then the name of the bar. And I'll show you how to get to the config in a second, but I'll just show you mine for, for um, to demonstrate here. So there's this bar example. So that comes in the config by default already. So uh, after you've installed it, you can try running it like this. And um, if you have multiple monitors, it's uh, my guess is it's just gonna come up in one of the monitors. Um, it's also not going to get rid of, so I, I was using i3, um, so I did what I had to do to hide the i3 um, status bar. I will show that, although you know it just depends on whatever you're using, whatever your window manager is. Figuring, actually you can use Polybar, I think, with um, some desktop environments, but I figure most people are probably on a window manager. All right, so um, yeah, running it from the terminal is maybe not the best way to do it. It's kind of weird. And um, so let's see here, copy the configuration example. Actually, you don't. I don't think you need to do that. Um, just basically it's Vim, well, okay, okay. Whatever text editor you want. Obviously, uh, config polybar slash config, right? And there should be this default there. Um, yeah, if it's not, search on your system for, for where that would be and copy it in there. Um, okay, so I have changed some things. I'll try to remember which ones, but um, first one was, okay, so I'll have to talk about this a problem with the monitors. I believe that is here. Um, so this one was set polybar on multiple screens. Yeah, for me, first thing I noticed, it's only on one screen. Um, so they made a launch polybar script. So let me just um, CD into this config slash polybar and uh, ls here. So config launch, yeah. So I made a little launch script and basically it's copy pasted from here, I believe. Um, I'll put a link in the description or I'll just copy the text in the description, one of the two. And so that's in there and then let's see. Then in my polybar config, I have, yeah. Um, you also need something to launch this. Okay, so yeah, polybar config, let's, let's take a look at that. And uh, under the example one, it's this. Yeah, I just commented out. I forget if this was, I think it was commented in here. So you just add a semicolon um, and that will comment it out and, and put this one instead. So then I had it on multiple screens, multiple displays. Now we want it to launch um, from the start. And I forget if I did that in X in at RC. Let's see here, um, yeah. So first I kill all of Polybar and then um, I run the launch script here. So yeah, that's that. Uh, let me just check, there's nothing weird in here. Okay, good. All right, and then, so it's running from the beginning. By the way, if you're running, um, let's say you're running i3, you can restart it like this. You may have the restart um, hotkey or whatever it is. Uh, there's a default one. I forget what it is because I don't use it. Um, worst case scenario, of course, you can quit out and then just um, start X again, right? But um, yeah, so I did that. Let's see here. Um, I will just show t um, for those who are on i3. Um, let's see, bar somewhere here. Yeah, this bar. So I, this is how I had it before I commented this out and then put this, uh, it's just invisible now. And I had some place where the, I was, oh, good. I forgot about this. I will have to talk about this later. 
Um, let's see, there's a lot of toggle here. Uh, let me go back to the beginning. There's somewhere where I'm toggling the status bar and I just commented that out because it doesn't need to be toggled anymore. But anyway, you can figure that stuff out. Um, okay, so what's next? Um, then what happens? Okay, let's look at the config because what happens is you get this um, this border on the top and bottom. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So it's border. And then this took me like an hour to find just because I was I couldn't find the information online. I was searching all kinds of stuff. And I was playing around with all this padding and margin stuff. But there's this border size here. And this is has the color and opacity. And uh, so it's a clear border by default. And uh, so if I set this to four, um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I have to write. And um, yeah, you can see there's there's some pixels here. And I didn't like that. I don't like this clear. So uh, let's see here. You can see like if I'm doing um, tiling with gaps here, just in case the screen is looking confusing. And uh, if I get rid of the gaps, um, there's still this empty space up there. So anyway, you can set that to zero. And it's kind of cool that when you, as soon as you write the file, it a polybar will update. All right, so let me just go through um, the config file here and 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 introduce it and um, yeah, see see what I changed here. So let's see. So I didn't. I don't think I changed any of this stuff at the top. Just those are just colors. Then obviously there's bar example, and um, so I told you I changed the monitor stuff. Don't think I changed much other stuff. The border size, I mentioned uh, modules. So here, uh, this one was commented in before, and you got a lot of stuff here. Um, I didn't really like having all that stuff, so I got rid of that and, and did this one. And then I realized, you know what? I don't even need any anything like that. It'll just show you. You know what? I'll, I'll write it so you can see a little bit of stuff. You know, I got uh, a couple different ways of seeing the volume and time that's it um, if I write this you get a bunch of stuff up there a bunch of stuff I don't like it too busy it's not my it's not to my taste I don't need any of it I mean I can I'm oh, sorry I can um, look at the clock if I need the time the physical clock on the wall I like just having nothing there what I do need are, are these workspaces um, and I did set up, I'll show you how to, there's some setup for figuring out how to toggle. I can toggle the um, poly bar on and off. This needs to update. And uh, we'll get to that. Let me finish going over the config here. I don't think there's, so this gets a little overwhelming because there's so much stuff. Um, X window, X keyboard, these different modules, file system. Um, some of these I didn't even look at. Now I'm using i3, ah, and this one was important. So basically I'm using multiple uh, monitors and if this one is not there, okay. Um, basically right now I'm using workspace 10 on a different display, but it's showing here. I don't want it showing on this display that I'm when I'm not using it. So that's a little weird, I can get rid of that. And now it will just show the, the workspaces on this display. So that's i3 specific. You might have other stuff. Um, maybe look online for your specific window manager and stuff like that. Um, I think that might be all that I changed in here. You got a bunch of different modules, backlight, X backlight. Um, you know, if you're, this is for, I thought this, oh no, never mind. Never mind. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. So you can play around with the date, the formatting for the date here. This is basically similar to the bash syntax. You can look up um, what to do there. And uh, okay, pulse audio, ALSA, battery, temperature, power menu. I don't even know what the power menu is. Oh, okay, reboot and, and that kind of stuff. So you can play around with that if you want. Look it up online. I didn't bother. Settings. Um, and I changed these, although 
I was trying to fix the issue of the border, like I said. Let's send this back. I don't know what difference this makes now. It doesn't seem to make a difference to me. So that's a bit of a mystery. And the only other thing I did change is the height, made it smaller to 20. And I think that is it for changes in the uh, config there. I did, uh, since I want to change the config a lot, I added a little alias PC in my um, in my uh, .bash RC. Uh, you can do that if you want. Okay, there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that is to do the toggling, um, which was, okay. So, I don't know if you can see it. This is from a different YouTube video, and um, there's this thing called polybar message. If you're familiar with i3, it works like that. You can send little uh, messages to polybar, but you need to activate it, and you activate it by adding this line, enable IP equals true. I forgot to mention that in the config, but yeah, add that to your config there. And then you can um, try this in, the, in your terminal, see if that works. And obviously, if it does work, you can you know go into um, the config for your window manager. I'm using i3, so I made a little thing that looked like this. Do check. Um, you know, you can search mod plus whatever you want to do, and make sure that you're not overriding something else. And that's it. So I made this um, nice little um, hotkey. Basically, I can do super key and P for polybar and that will toggle it on and off. Uh, I think that's about it. This by the way right here has nothing to do with polybar. If you're curious, if you're thinking that has something to do with it, uh, no, that is powerline. So if you want to install that, you just install powerline and powerline fonts, as you can see here. And then you're going to want to um, copy paste some stuff into your, if you're using bash, you know, bash RC, they've got ZSH and other stuff. Um, yeah, you copy that in and uh, hopefully that'll work for you. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more Linux content. If you're interested in helping me out to grow this channel, um, there is Patreon and Subscribestar and PayPal options below. Thank you for watching.